good morning good evening good afternoon from the place that you're watching me from now i'm doing this video because you guys requested me to do it you needed some financial advice am i the best person to give you an advice when it comes to finances i don't think so <laughs> let me tell you something you cannot be good when it comes to everything you must have the strengths and the laws and Part of it is financial advising. I'm not so qualified to say so, but out of the experiences and the things that I've gone through as I do my business as a young person, I found it appropriate. Out of the experience, I share with you a few things that if I was given an opportunity, I could have done them better. Okay? So please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. advise you you as a young person is trying to do business you're trying to make a coin be very formal in anything that you'll do when it comes to finances that means if it is creating a bank account create a bank account it doesn't matter whether you're making two dollars or three dollars a day but bank that money have the tendency of doing things in a very professional way i'm saying this out of my own experience over the years when I was young, in my 20s, mid 20s, early 20s, I would do my businesses, but I never used to have a bank account. I purely operated using M-Pesa. Yeah? For the Kenyans, know that M-Pesa is an app that you use on your phone. It is quite expensive to do your transactions over that specific app. Please get a bank account, write checks. It's going to save you a good amount of money. Also, in, in the near future, if you want to take a loan to boost your business and all that, at least there's a record of how your business performs yeah. and how you do bank your money, okay? That is the advice number one that I would want to give you. The second advice and the biggest, please have a financial advisor. That is why when we started, I said, no. am I the best to give you an advice? No. I'm not the best. Please get a financial advisor. How do you go about it? No. Your relationship manager in the specific bank that you bank your money in should be your free financial advisor. Most people don't know that. Uh, remember, these are people that have been trained. They went to school. They know all the things that they need to know about finances. They can even tell when you're about to get scammed. Can you imagine? You can even give them a business plan. They'll tell you whether it is going to flop or not. They just give you a few calculations and you're like, wow, how was I thinking that that is going to be a success? I want to let you know that if you're in a bank that you don't get an access to a relationship manager or even the manager, just get another bank right away. It might be a small bank, but you're getting the attention that you need. And when we talk of getting uh, into contact with a relationship manager, doesn't mean that you should be making millions in a day or hundreds of thousands. Even if you do a sales of a thousand Kenya shillings, let your bank always, you know, just visit the bank, see your bank manager, talk to them. They're going to advise you on how you can move from one step to another. I found that quite important my life changed when i incorporated a financial advisor when it came to doing my businesses i can tell you that for sure and that is quite some years back like five years but that is when my life completely changed i remember my bank manager could always tell me no you're not doing it right this is what happens and this is what you're supposed to do this is how you're supposed to get yourself out of the you know 
um, it's, it's called um, CRB after that this is what you're supposed to do and I remember from that time that is when my financial life now started changing I could see changes from each and every corner so that is how important it is to have a financial advisor even in times where probably you've gotten a deal a good deal that you may think that it is so good you, you're going to withdraw money from the bank sometimes just tell your relationship manager this is what i got as you can see i'm going to pay that is why i'm withdrawing all this amount of money if it's a scam they will let you know within a fraction of a second if it's something that has happened to several people even many people they are going to tell you because these are people that have experienced it all and when you're creating a bank account let it not be your personal bank account let it be a business bank account you just have to go to e-citizen create a register your business get a, a certificate it is going to take you a few days you'll have your certificate and it is going to cost you less than a thousand kenya shillings go to your safaricom get a till number or to your bank get a till number so that anything that is paid to you goes straight to your bank account quite important right another key thing is that i i would want to share with you out of my mistakes that i did when i was trying to start my business or when i was trying to build myself uh in that process of banking your money all the time you get a very high credit score and it is uh, the banks let me put it like that the banks would want to give you loans here and there and in the process of getting the loans you get so fond of taking loans back to back back to back as a business person the best advice that i, I would give you is that take a loan that you really need <laughs> uh, take a loan that you really need just because you can get one million from your bank account doesn't mean you're supposed to go for the one million if you need two hundred thousand kenya shillings go get the two hundred thousand kenya shillings and get your problem solved that is a problem that i had the day i created a very nice credit call i started getting money from the bank that's how much that's that's how my debt increased and increased and increased all the time i used to have lots of money that i used to owe the bank all the time every end of of the month i had to bank money my business is doing so well but at the end of the month uh, month i would bank a lot of money that would go straight to serve the loans and i'm telling you sometimes it can put you into depression or it, you just feel like you're not comfortable at the end of the month noting the amount of money that the bank wants you to pay despite how well your businesses are doing it gives some someone a lot of anxiety and when you're taking it you don't feel as if it is anything that you're doing what let me tell you people the people that are listening to me and they are not in that situation please avoid it as much as you can i can tell you please avoid it as much as you can for the people that are in huge debts they owe the banks a lot of money you must get a strategy of working towards getting yourself out of the debts sometimes if you have to sell some of the cars some of the properties to just get yourself out of that big debt please go ahead and do it reason being business people really end up even getting so many chronic illnesses because you're making money but pressure is always at a hundred all the time because of such things to my young people listening to me please avoid unnecessarily unnecessary debts and loans please never take money from any microfinance or the shylock <laughs> another big thing i've never found myself in such a situation but i can tell you for sure that that is one thing that has made so many business people lose their plots lose their homes lose their cars lose everything that took them 15 years to acquire if you really have to take money take from a bank if need be if not so take from a circle please don't choose microfinance sorry if you're working for a microfinance or you owe one please avoid it and, and uh, the shy shylock people and the bank mobile apps loans please avoid them as much as you can including fuliza or oh, including fuliza that is a free advice that i can give you it, it takes a lot of discipline 
for a person who knows that they are capable of getting loans from five apps on their phone decide not to take money from those apps it takes a lot of dis discipline and it comes with a lot of freedom so that even in times of emergency and agencies probably you want some specific amount of money from your bank you will not find a specific thing just listed due at the crp that is something that people avoid i know some people will console themselves by but it's a problem uh, i need the money i need the money to do this i need the money if it is not there you can stay without it if you don't have a budget of a specific thing and you know you, you're forced to take money from those apps from the Shylock and all that, you can stay without. I've seen so many business people that have lost a lot out of those things, mainly the microfinances. Oh, be very careful, my people out there. So that is one of the things that I, through experience, I can advise you to avoid or the financial, uh, you know, advices that I can give you. Don't rush into conclusions. You people, my people, Another biggest financial um, kind of advice that I can give you, just because the deal looks so good doesn't mean that you have to close it today, okay? Just because the deal looks so good doesn't mean you have to close it today. Sleep on it. Uh -uh. Sleep on it. Just tell that person, you wait, I'm going to give you a feedback tomorrow. You just tell that person who came up with the best deal, my daughter. Just tell them, you know what? I got what you told me. Allow me to just give you a feedback in a week, in a week's time, in five days' time, in three days' time. Right? It's as yeah. simple as that. Well, some of these deals that look so good and glamorous, they are the worst. You can lose your money in a fortnight. And another thing, when you get a deal that requires a lot, and and it is so sweet still refer and go to your financial advisor that is your bank manager just tell them if there are papers if papers involved if it's a tender that you're being told of if it's just sit them down tell them tell your bank manager who is your free financial advisor you know what is this person that they came to me they want this yeah the papers i even want to withdraw money and just go close the deal Please listen to whatever they are going to tell you. Some people don't listen. Some people need want to learn through experience. But just know that there are so many people that lose a lot of money with those funny, funny big deals. If some, Wait, if you ever come to me and tell me that you have a deal and use the word deal and come to me and you tell me that you're having a deal that uh, what, so you, I don't know how many millions, it's something that I would look at it from a very you know side eye you know and i'll be a bit you know skeptical about involving myself in the whole thing don't be impressed by someone who comes to you and mentions millions of money please never ever ever don't be impressed just know there's no too much money and there's no too little money <laughs> not too much money no too little money i've had stories of people that lost a lot of money People came to them and told them, you know what, will you give us this money in dollars? They go to the bank, they exchange all their money in dollars and bring them to the strangers who promise them that they are going to do this and that. And with that, the, those people run away with all their money. And if only they took a minute to even tell the bank manager, I'm withdrawing this money because I have this tender that I've gotten, I have this deal that I've gotten. I'm telling you, you they couldn't have lost the money. Sometimes I've seen in situations where people give you the LPOs or even the institutions give you the LPOs to supply a specific thing. Then once you go to consult uh, your, your financial advisor, they are like, well, we have had these LPOs and this specific facility doesn't pay. Actually, the people that we funded are, are dying out of stress to pay this money because we funded these LPOs, but probably it's even a government institution, but it, it's not paid. They, do, they don't get paid. There are others you get a P, an LP and they'll be like, oh, that's a good one. This one we can even fund it because eh, every person who is doing sub supplies in this specific place, they get paid 
right on time or in three months time you'll always get accurate information from the banks from your bank managers or your relationship managers who are your financial advisors because they get to meet so many people who are doing the thing that you're doing and there is nothing that can ever happen to you that will be so new i had an instance a student who was going to pay money to nigeria to buy some they're called ankara yeah ankara this um yarns i don't know whether they are called yarns and then the bank told the lady you know what anyone who's come to this bank to make any payments for this specific thing they have never gotten the cargo and they lost the money and that is how that lady went back with her money don't be like it's my money it is in the bank who are you to advise me no just be humble and you'll always get the best help that you need another thing be analytical in any decision that you make be spiritual remember god in the whole thing that you're doing pray get your tithe in place because it has to be given out so that it can protect the 90 percent that you're left left with it's so practical and it happens if you make one million just know a hundred thousand does not belong to you just know that it doesn't belong to you and it is going to help you you know it is going to protect the 900 that you're left with you try not you try to grasp everything that you make and assume that it is yours <laughs> and you'll see you'll be wondering i had i had a hundred thousand kenya shillings but i can't even account of what i did with that a hundred thousand i cannot even give an accountability of how i used that one million stick to the word of god whatever whatever the word of god instructs us to do okay and the other advice that I can give you is try as much as possible to be analytical in the things that you're doing. As much as you're supposed to put God in place and be very spiritual in the things that you're doing, put the math in place, have a reason why you're doing this. Each and every move that you make should be as calculated as possible. Most of us Christians forget that part. We just pray we pray and pray and fast and just say that we leave it to god and we expect miracles to happen but we are not supposed to be such christians because even the word of god instructs about and talks much about planning things and as we can all as we all know that god is a god of order even when he was creating the earth he had a systematic way of how he did it with a reason okay so even in your plans and the things that you're doing please be very systematic have a reason why you're doing a specific thing let each and every move be, be calculated and stop putting yourself under so much pressure expecting miracles to happen remember each and every mistake that you do has the consequences and you have to pay for those consequences it doesn't matter whether it is business it doesn't matter whether it is what if you took huge unnecessary loans and you're in a big debt you have to get the consequences of taking that that is not the moment to keep you know bothering god with all the fasting and praying hoping a miracle is going to happen just wake up one day and think and you know things are in order no still if you're in such a debt you should come up with a strategy of how you're supposed to work your way out of that debt thing and that is how life is you shall never and you can never surprise god no matter how much you pray for a thing if it's something that you're supposed to plan you didn't put a plan in place you were supposed to get some knowledge of how to do it you do you did the business or the thing in a very foolish way remember anything that you do foolishly is bound to perish even you if you're if you are full in anything you're bound to perish so that one really you have to put in place the analytical part of it and don't be the type of people that do the wrong things and start hoping and believing and praying and fasting hoping miracles are going to happen probably you get your, you got yourself in a very bad debt you're being auctioned and you're praying day and night thinking that something great is going to happen god is a god of order just as i told you even in the times of creation he created us in a very systematic way another thing that i could advise you is please pay yourself back 
Gishukuru. That is what they say in Swahili. <laughs> In the, in the profits that you make, put aside money, like your own salary. If you don't put the salary aside that you're supposed to use to cater for your bills, even if it is your business, for, for your own, you know, spoiling yourself, buying yourself the gifts, doing anything that you'd want, let me tell you something. You will use a lot of your money, business money. It may look as if it's a joke, but you end up using a lot of your business money when you're trying to cater for your for your bills, for your own personal use. And that is one of the mistakes that I ever did. I never used to put aside my own money. I've made a, a sales of this amount of money. I, I, you know, I just assume that, you know, it's my business. I don't need to pay myself. And in that mix, I ended up using a lot of business money. And by the time you realize it, you have used a lot of money that you could, you know, have saved. So put yourself on a salary. If it's a hundred thousand, let that be your salary. The rest goes to the saving. The, the rest goes to more, pro, more, more, you know, putting in more capital for your business and all that. Please don't punch yourself or hurt yourself or hurt your feelings when you fail. Because failing is inevitable. When it comes to business, <laughs> failing is quite inevitable. You're going to fail. Trust me, no matter how well you do your things, there's a place that it is not go as you as you wished. Don't even punch yourself. Don't even hurt your feelings. Just the quicker you, you, you get over it and move on and do another thing, the better. I always assume my first inputs that I did for gloves, I failed very badly because all the inputs that i did were not as good as I, I would want and i didn't make any sales then i diverted to other things to the second hand clothes to the, to the um, new clothes and all that i spent like a whole three years with something that didn't get me to where wherever i wanted when i sit back and think if i failed the first time and i just learned from my mistake of selling the gloves and just rectify and do better i would be very far as we are speaking but i i just deviated fell as if i will never stand on my feet again and then I took a whole like three years doing things that really didn't do as much as I wanted until now I got back to the things that I do that is hospital equipment and all that. So I, I would advise you if you fail in the thing that you're doing, just go back to the drawing board, have a look at it, know the mistakes that you're doing and do it in a better way. Okay. With that said and done, I had a list. I don't know whether there's something that I had not mentioned. I talked of loans. I talked of being analytical. Don't feel bad when you fail. Read books. Did I mention that? I hope I mentioned that because you have to get knowledge. Things don't operate the way you think they do. Apparently, things don't work the way you think they do. Business, you know, business is not done the way you think it is done. Get as much information and knowledge of how to become a better business person as possible it's going to pay read a book buy a book worth two thousand kenya shillings three thousand kenya shillings you will see the results once that time comes okay is there any other i think i've mentioned all of them with that said and done enjoy yourself please subscribe to my youtube channel again if i get something probably that i didn't mention i'm going to do another video and probably post it if there's something that i said and mentioned and you didn't get it better please let me know so that i can explain it in a deeper way on the comment section goodbye and have a lovely one god bless you god bless you god bless you thank you